Hello? I hope this goes well. Am I live? Let's find out. Am I live? I appear to be live. Okay, so I've done a sound test. To me it sounded okay. I mean actually, personally to me it sounds quite loud. But to you guys, hopefully you can hear me over the top of the game quite well. Uh, I don't have a, a regular full screen thing because this, this face comp doesn't get much bigger than this. Uh, I'll, I'll fiddle around. I'll fiddle around as we do more streams and stuff. You know, we'll, we'll mess around. But um, am I coming through clear? Can you hear me? Does my connection seem to be okay? I'm in Yorkshire, but I've got like 15 megabit per second upload speed somehow. Don't know how that's happening. My, I've had fewer internet issues than Ben has. Apart from today, unfortunately, when I was trying to upload worst games ever, which is being premiered tonight on YouTube Premiere, 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 uh, so we can all watch along together and have a chat. Um, Carrie says no blurry cam from you. I mean, it would be. Bl uh, let me show you. This is gonna like we're gonna lose the game feed when I do this, but uh, I can fix it. The the. Oh hello! Oh look at that! That's horrible. Hello Peter, how are you? Glad to catch your stream. These streams have been a lot of fun, and you and Ben have been doing an amazing job. Thank you, Stephen, for that four dollar pound donation. There. Let me make that text a lot smaller because, oh boy, that was ugly, wasn't it? Let's see if I can do that. Um. Da -da 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 -da. How do I do that? It is possible. Subscriptions? No. Donations. Donations. Text delay font settings. I've got it right here. It's at 66. Let's put it like down to half of that. 32. Let me do a test donation for dollar for pound. That's. Hmm. This is a test donation for pound. Save settings first before we do that. I can't see any chat right now, by the way, guys. So I don't know. <laughs> this is a test donation for pound. I mean, I feel like that's just made the person's name smaller, but not. Um, 32, font weight, uh, I don't know, hang on, let me, let me just make it really tiny and see if it actually makes a difference, um, because we don't want that, we don't want people's messages getting cut off, do we, test donation for pound, no, it's just making the person's this name smaller, test donation for pound. what does font weight do, does that do it, let me save that way smaller, I feel like that's just going to make it really thin. Test donation for pound. No. <laughs> this is a test donation for pound. Okay, well, I'll just have to listen carefully, I guess, and fiddle with that later. There's a bunch of, you know, we're ironing out our creases. Ben's done a few more streams than I have already, which is, you know, that's great. Um, but it does mean that, you know, he's worked some things out that I've not yet. Open alert variations, is that it? I don't know. I'll, I'll have a look at it later, but in the meantime, I'll just listen to your to your messages so that we don't have to don't have to look at them. In any case, we've got a spam bot apparently. What was the spam bot saying? Lobrock which has timed them out. Um anyway, I'm back with you now. Dr. Mundy. Do oh Ben's actually messaging me right. You need to customize the size of the browser window for donations in OBS2. Uh okay. Oh he's actually trying to ring me. Okay. Well let, why don't we just get Ben on and he can walk us through this right now. That'd be fun, won't it? Uh, is that ringing? Ring. Speak. For, I've got a new phone as well, so God, it's all it's all going off. Hello, Ben. Let me, let me turn you right. I'm doing okay. Let's go. I mean, I'm I'm pleased with the stability of the stream. Ripperoo93 just subscribed. Thank you, Ripperoo, and Doctor Mundy for your subscriptions there. Ben, what Thank do you guys? It looks good and it sounds great. Yeah, seems to be. Yeah. So how do I how do I make that smaller? Because that's ugly as hell. Yeah, it's it was pretty ugly for me as well. I also need to change the size of the font. If you go into your uh, your, your sources in OBS, yes. If you find where you've got your alerts coming in, you right click and go to properties. Properties. You oh, can I change see. the width and the height. I've got mine at twelve hundred by six hundred, so it's more of a rectangle. Because I think by default it's a square. Yeah, so it is. Yeah. Everything together. Okay, I've done that. <laughs> Hopefully that should make it a little bit better, and then you can sort of click and drag it out a bit, so it uh, so it fits a bit better. So okay, so we'll give that a go. Uh, All right, Godspeed. Thank you very much. 
Warriors, bye. Trawson. How do I hang up? I'm such a granddad. Well, that phone was upside down then. God, I think he's done it for me. Thank God. Right. <laughs> We're live on the internet. Hello, everyone. Um, get a little closer to the microphone, son. Sorry if you couldn't hear Ben very well there. Right. We're in Scribblenauts. I've been listening to this music for about 20 minutes, just setting up the stream, and I hate it. Um, so, this is a fun game. Uh, for those of you who didn't see on Twitter, we're playing Scribblenauts today because my Halo save data is at home. Um, it, it's not at home. I'm at home. It's at the office. I don't live at the office. I'm not a teacher. Teachers live at school, but I am not a teacher. Um, so, I will be... Yeah. Test yeah. donation for blips. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you. I'm just me. It's still big, isn't it? But, like, whatever. Maybe I'll move it down there a bit. Something like that. I'll look, it, I'll look out of hours when we're not streaming how to actually make the, the little message text smaller. But for now, we'll find, I'll just listen. I'll just listen and read anything. Um, good. Well, um, thank you very much, I'm Just Me, for those 200 blips there. And thank you once again, I will just say, to Rippery93 and Dr. Mundy for your subscriptions. And to Stephen yeah. for his earlier My donation. classes for the week and my midterms have been cancelled, so my extremely productive day has included watching the entirety of the video's Fallout 76 stream and oh. your 2018 jingle jam set. Thank you, Adi Pramana. I'm glad you've been re-enjoying the video's Fallout 76 stream and our jingle jam set. That's great. That's lovely. Um, oh, Lord Brotherich says, It's just nice to see you again, TP. Well, <laughs> very nice. Thank you very much. Um, so, uh, Yes, my, my Halo my Halo um, save data is at the office. I'll, I'll blitz through Halo this week. I think I can just do it on easy mode, and then when I get to the level we were on, I can just switch it to normal, I, I believe. Um, whatever, we'll see. I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty pretty MLG at Halo, let's face it. You know, I could, could rush through it on legendary mode if I really wanted to. So, <laughs> no, it's fine, it's fine. So, um... Harry has tings, says, hey Peter, so glad I could catch the stream. What a lovely way to wind down a, a beautiful sunny day. I hope you're all staying safe. Walrus Clan. Now, I did actually close these curtains that are right in front of me because... Oh, oh no. Well, for that reason. <laughs> because... Um, hello. Oh. Yeah, look, it's a bit, it's a bit too bright there, so I, I will. I think I'd rather, I'd rather be in the dark. As I say, we'll iron out some. Oh, hello! I'm coming really tiny now. We'll iron out. I'll out, iron out my my creases in time. My kink. I'll iron out the kinks. Don't kink shame me. But we should probably play some some video games now, shouldn't we? So we'll do that. Um, good. Can I put myself in the middle there. Okay, happy with that. So this is a game. This is a video game we're about to play today. Um, in which we've got a little magic. Oh, oh, it's it's sort of knows. Oh, look at my little super duck character there. It's found. It's found some really old save data. I just assumed it wouldn't, but okay. Well, we'll just restart the whole thing. Um, data. Delete all data. See how quickly I did that, no hesitation. I was, I was fine, I was fine with it. Uh, start. So this game is super fun, super charming. And it's... Our story begins okay. with Grandpa Edgar and Grandma Julie. Oh. You might not believe this, but Grandpa Edgar used to be the world's greatest adventurer. Grandma Julie would beg to differ. She was also an adventurer. Yes. Edgar would often brush away vines or open doors thought to be undisturbed for generations, only to find Julie was already there having lunch. <laughs> they competed like this on adventure after adventure. On one adventure, Julie beat Edgar to the top of a long lost pyramid. But the treasure she found was an engagement ring. Aww. The two of them semi-retired to start a family, and they continued starting that family until they had 42 children. Stop. Use protection. One day, Mom and Dad gave Maxwell and me two amazing gifts. 
The first was a magic globe that let you travel anywhere in the world. The second was the most amazing notebook. This notebook let you write any word in it, and poof, the word would come to life. Yeah, I don't think she can say poof, can she? I'm, I'm pretty sure. Lobrotovich, can you Our please ban this woman for saying to poof? Spoiled little brats. So they sent us out to face the challenges of the outside world. On the road to the city, we ran into an old man who said he was hungry. Maxwell made something to give him, but he played a nasty trick. The apple was rotten. <sighs> Oh, the old man spat it out as soon as he tasted it and was very, very angry. As he cast some sort of magic, he called us spoiled little kids and then disappeared. It didn't seem like anything had happened. But when Maxwell turned to continue down the road, I couldn't follow him. The old man had put a curse on me that was turning me to stone. We didn't know what to do. Luckily, our brother Edwin's farm was nearby. They have a lot of brothers and sisters. You should have seen how angry Edwin was. He couldn't believe what we did to the old man and said we probably deserved what we got. Lucky for us, Edwin knew about starites. Starites are magical objects. Christ alive, there's an unnecessary the amount of, of storyline in this game, considering... To make others happy, you will find starites. Considering what it's uh, about, gameplay-wise. use the notebook's power Char for good... Charcy he could oh, collect enough help. starite to remove the curse. Maxwell said, That's it. you bun. I'm gonna go out and do good things for Don't know where that splits into different like words, find. but thank you, Charcy you bun, for uh, subscribing there. Better, and Booker so Jertaz. Right. Are we, are we there? Are we... <laughs> okay, we're in. Oh, no, we're not yet. We're still... <laughs> <laughs> so that's what prompts the stories are never unnecessary. Well, yeah, you might be right. Um, hopefully my space bar isn't going to be too intrusive on you all. Um, so, walk to the farmer. Here we go. Ding. Maybe I should put my face cam up out of the way somewhere else. Oh, I should, shouldn't I? Oh, this is going to be a real faff. Okay. Um... Oh, don't know. There goes the there goes the overlay. Face cam. Let's pop you up there. I may just go without the border for now, or I don't know. We'll try. We'll try with the border. I might have to make it a bit bigger, like that, something like that, and then just sort of. Yeah. Okay. That'll that'll suffice for now. Okay, good. Um, so, start. Oh! So, wait until you guys see the possibilities in this game, because I was pretty amazed, actually, at, like, exact, at the, the limitless potential. Um, so, turn the runt of the litter into an award-winning pig. Write an object to help Maxwell scrub the pig. So, use the notepad up there. Type something to clean the pig. So, now we're able to spawn in any object, that you, almost any object you can think of. You can't really do branded stuff, but some branded stuff you can actually do. Like, I think you can spawn in, like, the Doctor or the TARDIS. I think there might be some Nintendo characters, things like that. You know, some royalty-free characters and stuff like that, you know, that, that sort of thing. But, for example, anything with, like, loosely, <laughs> loosely the correct qualities. Drag this to Maxwell. Use the object to clean the pig. Clean. We bleach the pig. The, the pig is fine. So it's that kind of thing, all right? If you if you can some can, let's think of. I want to play this game in a way where we're still completing missions, but you know, in a in a slightly dodgy way. Because please do not bleach pigs. Uh, that was a buip right there from Muk Fakendo. Muk Fakendo. Um. Let me move the alerts right into the middle now that I've moved the face cam out of the way. Just pop it there. Good. 
Um, Godzilla, I think, is available. Yeah, Mr. Mystery Sender. I mean, you can immediately just cause chaos by... Click Maxwell to remove this object. Remove. Uh, drag it to the trash can. Pig looks great. Now use an adjective to increase the pig's size. So now you can spawn in any item and then you can also write adjectives in front of its name and that will like change its qualities, which is insane. So if I put mutant pig... Oh, the game doesn't like that. But, you know... Uh, 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 gigantic... Oh my god. <laughs> sure. Um... Help the pig win the talent competition. Use an adjective and a noun to create wings large enough to carry the pig. Hints are unlocked over time. Click on the associated object to view its hint. Hint. I need wings large enough to help me fly. Okay, I, I see. Create object. Um... Oops. No, I can't. That's embarrassing. I already can't spell. Oh, it really wants me to use wings. Okay, fine. Um, I just put... We'll, we'll get into some more varied puzzles in a minute. I'll just, I guess I'll get this tutorial out of the way. Magic Backpack stores objects for later. Throw the wings in the backpack and wait for the judges to arrive. Oh, okay. Pop it in there. Jetpack. Yeah, see, things like that. Jetpack, a big bird... Um, Red Bull. <laughs> Take the wings from the magic backpack. So, we'll be able to do some slightly more exciting things later on. Um, there we go. Oh, Jesus. I mean, this... I don't think this... I would not let that pig win. I would have it exterminated immediately. There's a guinea pig there. Oh! Oh, he won first prize. And then we get a little star there, see? So now if I grab it. So. Rigged. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit. Um, I'd like I'd like lots of um, suggestions from the chat for various things. Earn shards by helping people. Ten shards will form a starite. Use starite vision to help find shards. Yeah, so this is all coming back to me now. Click that. You can wander around the area and find the other things. Again, it's a tutorial, so in this case it's only that guy, but, you know, shortly I'm sure we'll have to get the cat out of the tree, and that'll be that'll be one as well. Um, how do I... How do I come out of this? Ooh. Maybe I can't because it's a tutorial. Turn off star. Yeah, there we go. Help the sprout grow. This thing. Okay. Um, can I make it radioactive, maybe? Oh, I can't add, add an adjective to it. I have to I have to use something on it. Um, um, What's an inventive way of making it grow? Uh, um, poop. Oh, I can't. Manure. Oh, lovely. It's not so creative, but... Uh, What are people? Oh, steroids. Okay. I don't know if steroids will be available because it is a... It is, oh, no! Oh, I think I might have accidentally... Oh. <laughs> um, the plant scared away the other shard opportunity. Reset the level to return all objects to their original state while keeping your own shards. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Because you can really, like, mess with the world, needless to say. And sometimes you need to reset. Um, sorry, everyone. Oh, we can try again, though. Let's let's see if we're allowed to sp spawn st steroids. No. I mean, it is a family game, everybody. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, manure was a suggestion that I, 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 I had to go with. Um, zero out of ten games, says Lobrovich. Help me. My kitty is stuck on top of the tree. Get her for me. Okay. How about uh, a bazooka? 
Will this get the cat down? Yes, it did. <laughs> okay. Oh, stop! Well done, everyone. We got the cat out of the tree. <laughs> can we spawn a walrus? Of course we can. Of course we can. Everyone F for the cat there. Um, we, we are doing a Cats Protection League stream soon, so nobody tell Donna. Learning the basics was just the first step towards saving Lily. Use the bus stop to begin your journey into Capital City. The cat is fine, says Addy. I think it is. Walrus. Pink walrus. There he is. Billy Ray. Can I get him to... Will he follow me? Ride. Oh my god. Okay, well, we're clearly playing the rest of the game like this. We're clearly just playing the rest of the game like this. Um, what's a bishop's hat called? It's not a mitre, is it? A mitre... It probably doesn't recognise the word mitre. No. Um... I want a rules boss hat now. Um, uh, purple hat. No, not one of those. Purple beanie. I don't think you can do things like purple and gold beanie. There is actually also though, there's like a full item creator in this game as well. So not only can you use all of these objects that are available, you can, um, a pontiff, someone said. No. Uh, Pope hat. It is a mitre. Oh, it's spelled E-R. I'm thinking of mitre square in London. That's still not there though. Okay. Um, I'll try purple, oops, and gold beanie, but it, yeah, it doesn't like and. Okay. What we could try and do is save and quit. Yes. Oh, it is my turn in English. British English. Okay. Uh, so. Oh, that's weird. I thought there was a... Oh, maybe I think you actually do it in-game. Continue. I love that we've got a Billy Ray now to ride around on. What's this? Object editor, yes. Okay. A beanie. It's the, roughly the right shape, the beanie. So... Um... I don't know what any of these mean. Do I have to hover over them? Make it quite big. Uh, and then... Paint. Purple. Can I do like some gold... Gold pattern on it or something? I don't really know how to use this editor, so I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants here. Okay. Let's just see if there's a, a rules boss option here. Cool. It's unlikely there's a rules boss option, but it would be it would be nice, wouldn't it? Can I sort of Oh what a horrible noise. It's a shame you can't physically just paint onto it. Um I do it the other way around. If I put a base base coat of gold on, and then like that's that's not too bad, is it? Oops, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hope you're all enjoying this ASMR. That's pretty. That's not too bad, considering our our options. I might want a, a brighter base coat. That's the only. Oh no, I've I've, I've flipped it now. Gold. Nah, not that. That. 
Yes, okay, this could be it. This could be the one. Okay, I'm happy with that. That is a that is a uh, a rules boss hat. Don't be lazy. Put rules boss. And then that is it. So everyone reacts to it as though it's a beanie. It's got beanie source audio. This object object is not alive. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um, apply gravity, weight, spider, buoyancy sinks. I think a hat would float. It weighs about as much as a, a mouse. <laughs> apply gravity, it's got full health. Oh, no, it's got all the health in the world. I think the rules boss hat is probably indestructible, near enough. Yeah, it's got 1500 health. Confirmed. Add that to your, to your um, rules boss... Uh, Vidiots and Triple Jump Expanded Universe that the, the Rules Boss hat has 1500 health. Um, confirmed. Fire. No damage. <laughs> Not at all. Electricity. No. Again, I don't want to get too ahead of myself. Weapon type. None. No. Let's not be silly now. Oh, so this is that button was for scripting. See? It's a very versatile game here. Right, an object without... Oh, I don't know. I'm a bit scared of all these buttons. I think I'll just save. Is that... Is that it? Can I now... Oh, there it is. Everyone. Rules boss hat. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. We are Vidiot's Manifest. Sorry, triple jump. Oh, Jesus. That's an accident. Uh... Can I make this walrus? Um, pink. Uh, what's a word that means you can jump high? Athletic. I think he's jumping higher now. I'm just kitting myself out in, in the best way possible. I think I can add like a uh, fast. Oh my God, Billy, Billy, please. Everyone, welcome to Triple Jump. Nothing has changed. We might be working from home, but it's all fine. Hello. Fantastic. Right, so. Oh, we've done the tutorial. Now we need to get on the bus, don't we? We may have to spawn Billy in every time. That's the only thing. But don't worry about it. We'll, we'll do that. In fact, can I now save this animal? Yeah, if I bring him into the... Oh, no, it's oh, it's lost everything there. Can I... I do just want to make a permanent billy that I have to keep adding adjectives to. I might be able to just put pink, athletic, fast, walrus. Oh, no, I can't. That's the name of the object here, isn't it? So I'll just put billy ray walrus. We'll get to the game shortly, everybody. Don't panic. Just do it manually then, I guess. Um. long hair, because it's going to get in his... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Oops. No, stop it. Guys, we're taking this exactly the way that it needs to be taken. Um... Bring it down a bit. Sort of pop that on there. Is that... Are we happy with this? 
I think that's, you know, that's Billy, isn't it? I could give him a guitar, <laughs> I guess. Hello, Peter and chat. Hope you're doing well and staying sane in these troubling times. Loved your picture of your countryside walk. Brought a smile to my face. Thank you, Archers Be Cray. I hope everyone's doing all right. Hope everyone is doing good. Um, <laughs> Addy says, wait, this isn't the game? <laughs> making, <laughs> making Billy. This isn't the game. Um, the perfectionist in me just wants this a bit more, uh, just slightly more kind of aligned with all the other lines on his face. I don't know. I don't know exactly what I do want from it, actually. Maybe, um... Oh, it's a bit annoying that he's moving like that. Maybe, maybe that? Or did you like it how it was before? Hit pause, they're saying, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Don't really know where I want his... Sort of where I want his beard. Like that, I guess. I guess that's fine. Yeah. Um, and a guitar, right? <laughs> Electric guitar just in his hand all at all times. Maybe just on his back, you know? He's sort of carrying it around with him. Just a little one. Uh... Just a little, little Billy guitar there. Can I? Oh no, no, not like that. Let's put this. Can I bring that to the front? No, it can't go on top of the. Can't go on top of the hair. This is silly. This is silly Ray Walrus, everyone. Um, is there no beard object? I mean, there probably is, but... Well, there definitely is. There will be. But I didn't want something too... Doesn't he also need a moustache? Oh my god, it's really getting it's really getting out of hand, everyone. It's really getting out of hand. I'll see what the beard looks like. We'll have a look at the brown beard. But I think it's going to be... Oh, okay. I mean, that's... In fact, that's almost better for his... I think that's... Oh, no, hang on. I think that could be much better for his hair. Oops. Is that there? Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Maybe like that. We'll pause him. Shrink that down. Woof. Day one of homeschooling and I now know I haven't stockpiled enough gin for the long haul. Oh no. Send help, please. Yeah, homeschooling started today, didn't it? Um, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just send this to the back. I think that would, that would look better. Because I think that's what's bothering me is that his tusks... Oh no, I don't know. I don't like that at all, actually. Um, or we could just make, we could just paint that little front bit of his. There, just like that, right? Yeah, let's just do it like that. I think that's, I think that's better. I think that's much cleaner. Um, so, thank you very much there for the donation, Captain Loogie. You're you're a wonderful person, and uh, yeah, homeschooling began today for a lot of parents um, because the schools. I mean, we're talking about in the UK here because the schools have closed. And oh, Billy, Billy, please. Um, and as a lot of people are also working from home, that or indeed not working from home because they've been sent home, and they're hopefully. In a lot of cases, still being paid or earning some money in some way, um, and as a result, all the parents now sitting at home are um, teaching their kids. 
So, it's just a bit rich for my blood, that brown. Here we go. Yeah, just something a little bit greyer. I think we've got our Billy Ray Walrus. I think we've done it, everybody. There he is. That's him. You know, um, Scribblenauts, Billy Ray Scribblenauts is complete, Josh said, she says. You're, you're absolutely right. Um, he's alive. Um, special behavior. I'm just wondering if I can, like, make him follow. Well, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if he follows me because I'm riding him, aren't I? Brucius just subscribed. I hope Billy has a medical mask on. Don't worry, everyone. In the world of Scribble Noughts, everyone is well. There is no global pandemic going around. Thank you, Brucius. Oh, I forgot to put his health to 15,000, says Mystery Sender. Well, never mind. I think... Oh, everything's gone a bit pink. Oh, I see, because I edited him. So he's now, a, I think he's probably going to be called a pink. Oh, no, hang on. I think if we look at him now. He's a fast athletic pink, fast athletic pink Billy Ray Walrus. There we go. So, it, oh, I see. I still need to add the object. Yeah. I think I can add the adjective. So that's all I need to do now. So, behavior, um, movement, movement speed. I don't want to go too mad, I guess, twice the speed. Jump height high, very high, <laughs> OP Billy. Yeah, and that's, that's it. We'll see how that is. If necessary, we will up that even more. I think that's fine, so that's reasonable, isn't it? We've got our Billy, we've got our guitar, we've got our Rules Boss hat. We are triple jumped to the max. Um, sorry, I've thought of one more thing that I'd like to do. To... Hang on, can you, can you dismount? And then... How do I take the hat off? Remove. Okay. Use notepad, edit object. Yes, I'm just gonna add the red gem to it, just to really, really set it off, and then we're then we're done. I promise, Ruby. Oh my God, that's arguably too big. In fact, can I get a nice round? Maybe just something with a few more edges to it. No, I don't want that. Um, sapphire. Oh yeah, that's that's a good shape, I think. So I'll make it red. Perfect. And now we will quickly just rotate it like that. Shrink it down. Yeah, I think I think we needed that. Just to really make it the rules boss hat. Are we happy? Are we all happy? Jeff the Mongoose, where's Scandal Penguin? Please no. <laughs> let's let's not yet get into that. If we continue this game post Halo, which we might do, uh -huh. then <laughs> then uh, we'll th we'll think about adding some more friends to the cohort, but not right now. Stop. Calm down, everybody. <laughs> um, where is the bus stop? Did I get? Yeah, that's a full a filled star. Go. We're going to Capital City, everybody. And hopefully Billy will be with us when we arrive. He might not be. We might have to, we'll probably have to spawn him in, but that's fine. It'll be the first thing we do when we arrive in at any town. Oh, he's here! Billy's with us! Fantastic. So, if you pop this on, you can see where the quests are. I'm parked illegally. Um, I mean... Oh, Billy just ate it. Um, Peter, no. Problem solved. It's just as well that didn't go very well. Um, suggestions, everybody. How, how should we get rid of this 
illegally parked car. Obviously, we could spawn a tow truck in. But, um, you know, I'm sure there is a way that I could... Is this cockroach following me? I want to know what adjective that is. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. Wrecking ball. Okay, I like that, Fred the Shed. I'll probably, because of the delay on the stream, I may have to go with um, uh, a lot of people's... Oh, okay. Well, let's let's see... We have to go with a lot of the first few answers. Can I? I can't hold it. Okay. A crane bird. I kind of feel like. Is he gonna? Is he gonna do it? No, he's not. Steamroller. Okay, I like that. Steamroller. Oops. Ride. Can I sort of a can I can I attack? No, I can't. I can't I can't do that. That's a shame. That's a shame. Okay, well, Terry always says dynamite, so. Oops. Uh, interact. Boom goes the dynamite, everybody. We did it. Is that... Oh, it's still parked illegally. I think we just got an achievement for using dynamite, but, uh... Okay, um... Attack. Is this... Is this working? Maybe I need to, um... Fix it. Create... No, create object. Uh, nuclear bomb. Oops. I'm gonna type them. Nuclean bomb. Let's pop it there. Let's see if this works. Interact. Surely that's going to blow up the destroyed car. It's got a long fuse on it, the nuclear bomb. It didn't. It's completely in... Oh, there's a mushroom cloud now. Are we all going to get sick? I don't like... Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Well, the mu Oh, look, the cockroach survived the nuclear bomb. Lonely, glowing, toxic cockroach. Happy boy. Okay. I'm parked illegally. Um, let's, let's just get a flipping tow truck, shall we? Christ. Oh, okay. Ooh. Ooh. Right. Oh, nice. Oh, we had to physically move it. That's why it wasn't letting us destroy it. So we had to come up with a use. I could put wings on it, you know, maybe. I probably could have, actually. Let's see if I can do that. Because I don't want you guys to be now disappointed that this isn't as versatile as it first seemed. Because uh, do I still have wings in my... Yes, I do. Pop some. They might go into the traffic ward. And... Oh, they did. I think they did. Remove. Can you can you go away somewhere, please? No, hang on, I'm not. Add adjective. Be scared. Run away. Thank you. No, not on me. Remove. No, not the hat. Remove. Pick up. No, well I can't. I can't now. Maybe I could have done. Anyway, don't worry about it. Put the wings on Billy. <laughs> Please, no. Uh, right. So, yeah, I needed to make the parking legal. I had to put it somewhere legal. Anyway, let's let's uh, let's see if we can do something a bit more exciting this time. Happy boy. Oh, he's fine. I don't need to. He's all he's all good. 
Bye, Billy. She's still scared. Uh, what's here? Some some graffiti. Okay. Well. Um. Place someone into the phone booth to make a sidekick for me. Okay, everyone, I want you voting while I just... I'm going to clean this graffiti up in a standard way, but um, I want you all voting on some kind of sidekick or, or giving you suggestions. What's the best or worst possible sidekick in the world? Um, so, I will... I'm just going to see if I can put, like... If I can just hang something in front of it. I don't think I can. I'm going to have to interact with it in some way. Um, weird. I sprayed over it, and now it's turned into a garden. Um, so, suggestions. We've got Igor, Captain Bumpus, Ben, Dick Bachinko, uh... A loaf of bread, says Lord Brotovich. Um, a slug, says Charling Badger. Um, T-Boy, DBP. 50, extra 50s worth of garlic. Billy Bay Slayrus, a hat. Okay, let's... Um, I want to see if I can put a slug in there. It might have to be humanoid, but that's the fun of the game. Oh my god. Super slug? Hello? Oh, actually, I might just reset the world because <laughs> everything's toxic. <laughs> uh, reset. Yeah. Mikey. Mr. Toad. In fact, I'll keep him in my backpack so I can get him out at all times. Billy. Oh no! Get off my Billy! Oh, I think I've just solved a quest somehow. I think I've made someone happy. Uh -huh. Rose hat. Gotta have your kit ready. There we go. Make a Billy one as well. Yes, I can. Of course I can. Of course I can. Simon Miller. I think some of these suggestions aren't likely to be here. Simon Miller. Mikey. Mr. Toad might be possible. He's royalty free. No, he's not. But uh, no humanoid slugs, please. Um, T-Boy. Uh, Igor. Okay, what about a hunchback? Yes, Igor, we've got him. Super, super hunch, hunchback boy. In he goes. Oh, there he is. It's a bird. Hero. Well, why not? You know, just you know, people with with physical deformities can be heroes too. Right, we can go into any of these built well, a lot of these buildings as well, and there's going to be quests to do. Create a new fountain for the city. Place an object in this water, and then flip the switch. Okay, guys, what what statue would you like to be in the middle of the city with water coming out of it? This probably really can be anything. You know, as as you've seen, some of these quests are actually slightly less versatile, like cleaning graffiti off a wall. I mean, you could bazooka it probably every time, but like, you know, you. Oh. Finally get to see the streams again now that I'm working from home. Yay! Stay safe and healthy all. Norsey, thank you very much for that. Um, for for that donate. That's, oh, I just saw the amount of it. Thank you very much indeed for that. That's very, very kind. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you with us. You know, there are some small, small good things coming on. I don't even want to say that because people are dying and that's horrible and obviously if I could wave a magic wand I would stop all the people from dying and not be having it so that a few more viewers are able to watch our show, obviously. But, uh, you know, if the world dictates or the universe or reality dictates that this horrible condition that's afflicting the world has to happen, 
then at least you have to look for the you know for the good things out of it um, if it you know if it has to happen. So Venice is looking cleaner. There's fish and swans in there that are enjoying it. You know the air pollution in Italy and China has been much improved. People are able to spend more time at home with their families at least. You know, you have to you have to try and find the small things. As I say, obviously, I'd much rather people weren't dying than, you know, there's some swans in Venice. But if people have to be dying right now, which is a shame, then that's what you that's it, isn't it? Fifties worth of garlic. I love that. Garlic. Um Um, so how do we make it a 50? Or oh, actually, we could create, we could create our own 50s worth of garlic, couldn't we? If we go into, I've already forgotten how to, yes. I'm going to make a, a stack of garlic. <laughs> garlic. Let's get a boy in. Or girl. Oh, we have to use that as a base, I think, so I can't move it. But, oh, there we go. Shrink it down a bit, so we've got more space to work with. And then... Stamp. Yeah, that's it. It's very tricky, this thing. Garlic. Actually, yeah, I should I should maybe just make the original the same size, otherwise they're gonna be different. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> I won't necessarily do fifty, but I might. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Riveting viewing. Can I make um just some sort of stem? No, that's not really what I want. Or. Maybe it is. Oh, I think you can only... Ah, oh, that's my. That's why I was having issues, is that you can only attach to the original. So, if I... Oh. Um, hang on, hang on. Let's... Is that working? Why is it making a... Making a noise. Um. No. Right. Okay. Garlic. Or. What about a tree? Um, like a like an empty tree. Bear tree. I don't want the leaves on it. I want something that I can like stick loads and loads of garlic to. Um, something like maybe a, sp a spider web. Yeah. What a horrible thing. Web. Yeah. Okay. Right. This is going to be one of the worst. Our oh, dead tree. But you might have been right. That's probably what I could have said. This is going to be horrible. It's a spider web covered in garlic. Um, oh, I see the problem. Okay, hang on. Let me, yeah. Let me get one garlic in. And then scale up the spider web in comparison to that so that there's room for lots of garlic. There we go. Right. So, this is it. This is how we get loads of garlic, everyone. This is an extra 50s worth of garlic. Good. So, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, count with me, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Thank you. Decido, uh, uh, Desi does pizza, sorry. Desi does pizza um, for subscribing for two months. I don't know why you would subscribe to this level of content. Are we all enjoying ourselves? I get paid to do this <laughs> for some reason. Um, I, should, I, should, I should be disciplined. Oh, we've, we've reached the limit. That's okay. I thought that might happen. We'll just sort of spread them out a bit. Um, put some down here as well. An extra 50s worth of garlic. Sort of get the get the spiderweb poking out on the edge in every on every case. I think that looks nice. I mean, it looks horrible, but guys, this is going to be, I think, possibly the best statue in any. Town Square Fountain, possibly in the world. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty pretty spurious claim, but I'm willing to bet. I'm willing to bet that um, the extra 50s, 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 you can't use um, punctuation in here, which is a bit weird. Extra 50s worth of garlic. Save it and get ourselves an extra 50 worth of garlic. Um, extra 50s w worth of garlic. <laughs> Pop it in there. Pull the lever. Interact. Guys, mm. look. I mean, people are throwing their money in. We've made a fountain for the city square. The Michael Jugson Memorial Fountain, everybody. The extra 50, look at all the kids dancing, playing in the fountain. I bet, I bet it smells great. <laughs> what, what the hell? I, did I really just, how long did I spend doing that? Why are you all watching this? <laughs> um, Carrie says I'm having a blast. I, I don't know why. Mealy Squilly says this is excellent. You guys are all stupid. <laughs> uh, good. Right, so, what else? What's going on? we got this fella. Come a little closer to start me, son. Okay. Starlight Carnival Games. Play classic carnival games to win prizes, son. Son. So you get little jobs to do like I've just been doing just in the town, but then you come up to people and like start full on like proper games um, with like several tasks to do, and which is that's the meat of the game actually. So we're only just playing the game properly. That it's like when we did the the pig contest. You know that was a that was a like a three step process. The carnival is in town, everyone. Throw something to knock over the bottles, but don't cross the barrier. Okay, well, yeah. Okay, can I can I pick up the baby? No, I can't pick up the baby. Grabbable, is that a word? Grabbable. Equipable, baby. Pick up. Right. Everyone. Oh. Throwable. <laughs> Add adjective. Oh, I might be talking about myself here. Uh, Lord Brockbridge says, 20 minutes until the sex number, my dudes. I think we're already Pete with the garlic web statue. Yeah. Um, baby yeet. I don't think the word yeet is available. Uh... Yeah, this is. I think this is addressing the baby. Throwable. Yeah. Yeah. Good evening, Tiny Peter. I hope I haven't missed you trying to create Buns and Wilsons. I've not done any Buns and Wilsons yet. Um, thank you for the hundred blips there, OD OD Lazus Lazus Lazus. Um, we're just about to throw a baby. Uh, 
I mean, th this game is actually amazing, isn't it? Really, if you think about it. This guy's <laughs> looking concerned. Um, Yeetable. So, yes, Yeetable. Um, so, uh, yes, I don't have the sex number assets available to me right now. Um, I'll, I'll look into maybe getting hold of them if possible. Throw. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, okay. Equipable, throwable baby. Pick up. Maybe I'm... Okay. I wasn't sure where the barrier really... I might just have to put throwable, actually. If it's throwable, then surely it's pick up a ball. Pick up. And if I sort of go here, is that alright? And if I throw it that one? Oh no, okay, hang on. Um, if I, I think I can make myself really strong. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that's not quite what I had in mind. But throwable baby. Right, now surely I can eat this. Oh god. We did it, everyone. We did it. Um, the auto mod just held more cats' message for using the word disintegrated. Oh, it's because it was spelt slightly wrongly and it, it thought there was a, a bad word in there. So, I mean, I'll allow it because it wasn't intentional. But there we go. You work it out. Throw something to pop the balloons without crossing the barrier. What do we think? What do you want me to pop the balloons with? Like a, a woodpecker? <laughs> Would that work? Um, throwable Billy, says Tom Buskus. A laser, a shark, a cactus. Cactus was suggested by Demica Kempton. I like cactus. Yeah, boy. We're doing great. Thanks, everyone. Throw something to hit the dunk tank without crossing the barrier. I mean, we could just get a throwable baby again, but I don't think we should. Um, uh, Carrie suggested a chainsaw for the previous one, but I think I'd like to just throw a chainsaw. God, that guy must have been terrified. I was throwing a chainsaw in his general direction. Oh. Well done, everyone. We're all doing really well. I'm very, very impressed. Oh, here we are. Here's the dream team. Both got a rules boss hat on. What's up with this dude? I want to sail across the sea, says grandfather. Okay. Off you go, Grandad. You might not make it very far. <laughs> bon voyage. <laughs> oh, oh no. Did gr Dan Grandad died on the way? Oh no! Look at this. <laughs> Grandad died on his way back to his home planet. I'm afraid. Um. So we can go into some of these buildings now. We've done six out of eight. I think we might have to. I think we might have to actually make Billy. Um, a flying walrus. Use animal. Oh, that's Biff. Use notepad, edit object. Yes. Um, let me... Uh, how do I do it? Scripting. Movement. Fly. Uh... Just, yeah, when when driven. Yeah, so he can't fly around all the time. Oops. But when I'm, when I'm on his back. Mm. Let me just spawn a new, new Billy in. Just, well, just briefly. Oops. Just briefly pop Billy in the bin. Don't worry. Am 
might just need a... Hmm, no, okay. Um, I'll put his hat on in a minute. I'm just working out how to make him fly. Yes. Uh, do do Movement. I'll untick that now because I'm not really sure. Uh, I can probably just add an adjective somehow, right? This object inherits its source object's behavior. Sure. Add new behavior. Behavior. Type. Ride. No, I don't. Uh, I think I'm. I think I'm messing with things here. Delete that. How do I make it fly? Flying object hangs from it. God, there's so much. So much you can do here. Scripting. When this object uh, is there, like is being ridden, this feels empty. Is equipped and equipped gains, loses, start starts being ridden. Then it will add an adjective. Red. Why does it say red? Can I edit the adjective? Yes, here we go. Flying. I think. I think that will do it. Yes. Yes. Oh, guys. Billy... He just outdoes himself all the time, doesn't he? What I've realised I can also do, just to really set this off and to save myself a bit of um, a bit of a bit of faff every time I load a billion, is get myself a rules boss hat from here and just add it to the. The, the whole thing. I want the whole thing. Oh no. Okay. Um. Oh, never mind. I'll, I'll do it my way then. That's fine. That's fine. But he doesn't always have to wear the hat. I think, you know, there's, we, you can have too much of a good thing. So, yeah, if we now slap this filter thing on, then maybe. I mean, maybe in this area there aren't actually. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, yeah, see, there we go. There's a flipping King Kong up here. What's going on? What's up with you? King me? Gorilla. Um, how do I king a gorilla? Obviously I could just give him a crown. If anyone's got any ideas, um, other than giving him a crown, then let me know. In the meantime, we can't see the view. There are clouds in the way. Ah, can I make them just really big? <laughs> Just so they can see over the clouds. Gigantic. The game might not recognise how I've helped them in this situation, but it's not it's not quite it's not quite enough for them. Well, um Checkers board says boring loner. I mean that's a really nice idea there, and a, a real I like I like the yeah. Some people are saying checkers. I like the um, the rules boss hat. I like the thinking outside the box, but I I know for a fact the game will not recognise that. Elvis hair says carry the worst. That oh imagine if that worked. Imagine. No. Oh, well, if I say quiff, that's surely not going to... Oh, it's not even available. Oh, Carrie, that was a great shout. But, you know... Oh, give them stilts, says Mealy Squealy. So they're giant, and I'm going to give them stilts. Drag clothes on Maxwell to have him wear it. Most clothing only comes in Maxwell's size, though hats are one size fits all. <laughs> They might... Oh, oh, there it goes. It might not work because they're gigantic. Oh, that's a shame. Huh. 
I expected more. Um, Lion's Mane, says Farwall. That's, that, we'll try that. Uh, Mane. King of the Jungle. No, it's just on his head. <laughs> okay, well, we may have to... Um, may just have to go with Crown. Never mind. What else do kings have? We'll just get like a flipping Crown. Oh my Christ. <laughs> well, he died, everyone. It was Beauty killed the beast. Jesus. No, I don't want to... Oh, do I have to? Okay. X-ray goggles, people are suggesting. That's a nice idea. I like that. Uh, Mini Squilly's off to work. She says... Um, or or he. I've never actually... I've always assumed it's a... Mini Squilly is a, is, a, is a lady girl, but I don't know. Mini Squilly says, time to work, friends. Stay safe. And distance and wash your dying hands. Um, can't possibly we'll go back. Go back. Into my magic bag. Sack magique. Or I just love that we've got a Billy Ray Walrus that as soon as you get on his back, he starts flying. Um, oh, let's see if the fountain's still there. Because if it's not, I'm going to be... You no, know, it will have reset the world, won't it? Oh, no, it's still there. They're all loving the extra 50s worth of garlic there. Good. Oh, and this... It's not reset the world. X-ray goggles. <laughs> what about you? Do you want some? Now you can see through anything. Oh, the game's the game's not as clever as that. We're gonna have to blow it away. How do we blow it away? Giant fan tool. Nice. Well, that worked. You guys had some much better suggestions. You know, it's a bit hit and miss. Sometimes, sometimes you can make an actual extra fifties worth of garlic fountain in this game, and sometimes you can't. So. You know, we'll just take it as it comes. So, if we go into the... I think the hospital's a bit too close to home at the moment. So, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go into... Oh, no. I'm not going to Edmund's Farm. Let's not go into the place where there are sick people. Because let's try and just forget that... What's going on in the world. Um, my room has become progressively orange, hasn't it? In the In the background there. Can I? Mm, I don't know. I'll mess with the white balance later. Old woman. One of these artifacts is a fraud. Help me figure out which, says the curator. Oh. Um. I'm triple jump orange. True. I mean, it, it's all it's all in a palette, at least. I guess it looks good. That guy just fell off the roof. Oh, my God. Did he? Did he? Um, X-ray goggles. Broken gaming suggests. Lara Croft. Oh, she might not be available. Tomb Raider. Mm, archaeologist. Time machine. Go in the time machine. I insist. Um, Nathan Drake, police dog. Okay. Like a sniffer dog. Oh, okay. Police dog. Actually, no. Just because it's red doesn't necessarily mean like it might understand. No. Okay. Police dog. There you go. Can the dog sniff out, sniff out a fraud. Sometimes it's not always... You have to kind of do something that that you can kind of click onto them in some way. Um, so yeah, I mean, Broken Gaming says magnifying glass. I think that's actually what the game wants us to use. Um, what about... Um, just, just, for, just for fun. A monocle rather than a magnifying glass. No, 
I've just given her a monocle for no reason. All right, magnifying glass. Is that going to make you happier? There you go. A bit predictable. We'll try where we can to be silly. We can't always. Sometimes we will be able to. I need something to connect these bones together. Well, you know. Okay, well, there's... <gasps> That's a Wallace and Gromit reference. It's a penguin with a... Of a, with a glove on its head in a museum here to steal stuff. That's an actual Feathers McGraw reference there. That's incredible. I wonder if I can give him the wrong trousers. Oh, they're in his back. Okay. Um, chewing gum. Says Broken Gaming. That's a good shout. Oh no. Dem bones. Right, what's up with the, um, help me get past the guard and the security camera so I can take back my diamond, says Feathers. So here's the guard. We can incapacitate the guard. We could maybe give the penguin some kind of, well, he's already got a jetpack. I think we have to specifically incapacitate the guard in some way. We could blindfold the guard. We could, um, yeah, uh, sleeping, uh, sleeping giant suggests blindfold. Make the penguin invisible. Invisibility cloak? Sure, I like that one. Invisibility cloak. Oh, yeah, come on. Oh, it's invisible. <laughs> okay, well, let me just edit edit the penguin. There he goes. <gasps> Feathers. Amazing. Arctic heist. Good suggestion there from uh, Broken Gaming, uh, Tom Buscus. Um, love that. Or you could make the guard blind. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, we've got an Arth. Oops. We've got Neil Buchanan here who wants something. The girl in this painting looks lonely, says Artie. Oh, we can pop something in the painting with her. What should we put? I mean, we could put a friend in there. But maybe we could put. I don't know. The big bad wolf. Uh, Godzilla. I think Godzilla is available in this game. No, he's not. He's not. But, you know, like Mutant Lizard would be. Oh, sorry. I sort of jumped the gun there and you guys had some good suggestions. But, uh, dog people. Oh, give her a Billy. Click Maxwell and select... You can have to play as to, uh, oh yeah, you can you can change to different different siblings. Don't worry, I think there's actually um, a full one of those bigger quests uh, to do rather than one of these odd jobs in the museum where we put more stuff inside picture frames. So we'll all get a chance to do some suggestions for that. It's probably over here by this picture. Here it is. Yeah, there we go. So we'll we'll do a Billy. That's a good shout. Um, ding, ding, ding. A serial killer Carrie wanted in the picture with her. Uh, what is this? Stickman. It's opening day at the museum. Place something in the frames. That'll be sure to please the museum's patrons. Hello? What on earth are you? Place an item in the frame that I would find artistic. It says Burning Man. Ugh. I mean, I'll just try. It might have to have a certain quality that makes it artistic. But I'll get Billy Ray Walrus. <laughs> Oh, I thought I thought you just pop him in. That was a bewick right there from Sleeping Giant for uh, who subscribed. Oh, oh no! Oh now he's flying. Oh, God, it's all going it's all going wrong. Gromit. Yeah. Let me just. Hang on. Happy 420 BB BB <gasps> Blaze it, my dude. It's 420. Everyone. I honestly don't know what kind of jokes would fit here. So maybe some painter jokes. What did Michelangelo say to the ceiling? I got you covered. Ha ha ha. What's red and smells like blue paint? Red paint. He he he. Where does a cow hang his paintings? In a museum. museum. Ha ha ha. What do you call a painting by a cat? A portrait. A portrait. Hoo hoo hoo. There were a lot of jokes talking about throwing babies, but I left him out just in case. Oh no. Yeah. Maggie Tense. 
Moggy Tents. Oh, Moggy Tents. Thank you, Lobrotovich. Oh, I think when people ride Billy, they gain the ability to fly, which is a bit weird, but never mind. Thank you very much, Lobrotovich, and look at all you guys 420ing in the chat there. Fantastic. Okay, so let me just do a test. Um, a hat. I don't know. Can I... Oh, I can just... Okay. Weird. It's an artistic hat. Um, maybe just a, a regular pink walrus for something. So what do you... In fact, I might just try it now anyway. Pink walrus. I might not be able to put living things in. In animate. Weird. I don't know. Maybe it's too big. I just want to see. If I, maybe I can't put anything in there anymore. Let me just do another hat test. I can. I don't know. For some reason, I can't put livestock in the pictures. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what, what goes on. I didn't want to put dead, so I put inanimate. Yeah, I didn't want to put dead Billy. That would be sad. Okay, so this mummy. Oh, okay. Something that a mummy would find artistic. I mean, what would a mummy find artistic, everyone? Have a think. Um, a gibbon. Also a, an animal. Therefore, can't really go in. Um... Lord Broshup says, by the way, do you know why the blip limit is down to 100 blips again, TP? Actually, yeah, I hadn't noticed that. You just got your thing read out with 100 blips, didn't you? Um, I don't know. Maybe it's been nudged or something. Toilet paper, loo roll. Oh, good shout. Can you actually get it in this game? Because it's, it's at a... Oops, toilet roll. Because it's at a, a premium toilet paper. There we go. He loves it. So what have you been up to aside from working and gaming? I cannot imagine you are exclusively playing video games. I have been painting miniatures like a big dumb nerd. Nice. Also do maternal is neat. Christopher Ridge, thank you very much for a 666 donation there. Um, touch the Maxwell head icon to center the camera onto Maxwell. The next patron is arriving, place him in the frame that they have shorter, please. Okay, sure. I'll just pop this. Um, I have been spending time with my family. Um, I've watched a bit of like TV and Netflix and stuff. I've not done much gaming. Um, I partly though, but just because I'm not actually set up my PlayStation yet. Like end of last week when I did the move, all my time really in in this room was spent like. De desperately trying to get stuff sorted in time for just work things like get worst games ever done get the last week's list done which didn't happen um, James bless him our full time editor worked really really hard to try and get it done on the deadline I was like oh James you reckon you can help me out and get this done by Thursday he was like oh I'll try got close to Thursday and he was like still a bit up against it and I was like don't worry I've not even helped you out yet I you're only supposed to be doing a little bit of it um, so I said, well, maybe to Friday, so don't worry about it. Like, well, and then I'll help you. We'll both do some on Thursday and Friday and get it done. Thursday night, I got into bed, and I, I felt so stressed and unwell. Like, I felt, I felt nauseous, and I thought, am I coming down with something? Am I unwell? And I thought, like, oh, maybe I've eaten something really badly. I felt really sick. Um, and then I... Um, Partly as a result of thinking I was coming down with an illness, I kind of said to myself in my head, like, oh, screw that list. Like, it's just not It's not worth me feeling ill and trying to make it, trying to get it done. So I'm not going to put the list out on Friday. And as soon as I sort of told myself that, I started to feel better. And I was like, God, like, what have I done? I'm just burning myself out, clearly. It's all, like, psychosomatic. So it was a bit of a stressful week. Um, no one's fault. Like, you know, Ben's been working hard. I've been working hard. Jane's working hard. Adam has, you know, Adam never pushes me or Ben to do anything, you know, we're very much left to our own devices to run the channel, so it's all been, no one's pushed anyone else, I've just, you know, we've all been overworking, really, so I felt pretty rough, so 
that's what I've been doing, just trying to like catch up with everything. It's been a busy day today setting the stream up and everything like that, but um, here we are streaming, so it's all seemingly working. My internet is stable despite being in the middle of nowhere. So I finally feel like I'm kind of caught up on the worst of what I needed to get done. Still plenty of work to be done. I'm going to be, I'm, I seem a lot busier here working from home than I was at work. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, why not? Like as, as long as I'm not doing more than my sort of eight hour shift per day, then great. So looking forward to getting my PlayStation set up, which I've not had time to do for reasons as just explained. Um, and then being able to stream from it and just play games on it generally. Anyway, that's a little, a little update. Uh, but I'm, I'm happy. I'm, I'm good. Peeps, have you started Dark yet? It's on Netflix. I think you'll enjoy. I haven't. What's that about, Louis J. Weber? Let me know. Everyone, as, as I expected from our lovely community, saying, don't stress yourself, don't overwork yourself. Like people were saying on, on Twitter when I tweeted about it the other day about moving worse games. Yeah, I, I don't feel any pressure from the audience specifically to, like, work crazy hard and make sure it all gets... I know you're all very understanding people. And frankly, I'm still in a much better position, stress and anxiety and workload-wise, than a lot of people are around the world right now. Um, and I don't just mean being a, a white cis male Western boy who works in video editing. I mean even the white cis male Western boys who work in video editing around the world. Some of them are just locked up by themselves in a flat somewhere in a in a British city, whereas I'm not, and I'm fortunate in that position. You know, as some of you will have seen on my Instagram at that Peter Austin, posted pictures of um, me and Amy just out on a moor yesterday, where we were able to go, and it's not going to hamper your social isolation because there's no one there because it's a big empty moor which incidentally is on fire today so great there have been loads of fire engines going up and down i can see huge plumes of smoke in the distance which is such a shame but hopefully they get it under control don't look into it just start dark going in blind and i guarantee it'll intrigue you stay safe and healthy peeps we love you so we we love you so please don't overwork yourself i won't thank you okay i'll i'll try and remember to give dark a go louis the louis joeva thank you Anyway, we've got a ghost here who's very patiently waiting. What would a ghost find artistic, guys? You've had a long time to think about it. A long time. I want some excellent ghostly suggestions now. The mystery machine. I don't think that will be available, but like maybe like a... Although this is a Warner Brothers game. It's published by Warner, so I wonder if I can have like Bugs Bunny. Can't. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, I'll try Harry Potter. No. No. Okay. So you can't. There are a few. I know there are a few sort of brandedy things. Uh, but Ouija board. I mean, hang on. What about like camper van? Let's let's make ourselves let's get out of it. This man. Let's turn this into the mystery machine. I'll make it a bit smaller so it fits into the picture. I'll make it green. Uh, and um, I don't know, what else is there about the mystery machine? I'll make it even smaller actually because it's not going to fit. Tiny. Tiny Pete. Scooby. I'll put, I'll put, can I put a dog in the mystery machine <laughs> and then put the mystery machine um, pick up oh there's a man in it this is wrong I wonder how I sort of make make an animal do that. Can I do, can I do it? Can I um, if I make it inanimate again? I know we won't see him in the cockpit, 
the cockpit. That's the word, isn't it? Uh, but we'll know. Let's sort of chain it together. Chain tool. Right, one end on the dog. Right, we're going to chain a dog to... <laughs> We're chaining a dog to a car, and we're going to pop it in there. Oh, but the dog can't go in. Oh, the, the ghost has got the dog now. Attach. No. No, it's all going wrong. Help. Mystery Machine is out. It was a good... It was a good... We had a good run. PT, you can't grant animal sentience and then just rip it away at a moment's notice. They got Scoob. He stole your dog. Hints of National Lampoon's vacation. Dog and cat. It's all gone wrong. Jack-o'-lantern. Sure, I like a jack-o'-lantern. That's, that's a good one. Thank you, uh... Chef Otaku, 13. Put a jack-o'-lantern... Oh, jack -a lantern I guess it's American. There we go. We tried. We tried to do the mystery machine. There's probably a way to make the dog go in the car, but I don't know how. I'll look into this game maybe between now and the next time we play it, because by the sounds of, like, the reaction, you guys are are enjoying are enjoying this. Um, so I probably will still finish Halo next week, or maybe this week, actually. I, I might stream on Wednesday, if possible. Um... And then we could carry on with this. That would be fun, wouldn't it? The last person is here. Play something inside. It's Mrs. Claus, is it? It is. Place an item inside the frame that I would find artistic. What are these two little tabby things here? 28 and 58. Oh, you, I think you unlock new hints after so many seconds pass by. So what would Mrs. Claus like? Americans don't say jack-o'-lantern. Weird, says Katie Kin Solo. Oh, okay. Naked Santa says JT the Destroyer. Can I do that? Oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> she loves it. <laughs> that is horrible. He's all pixelated. <laughs> JT the Destroyer, everyone. Possibly the suggestion of the of the session. We'll see we'll see how we get on. There might be more more to it than that. Can I can I open this curtain now? I look very dark. We might finally be able to let some light in without me getting super washed out. But the sun is going down, so it it's just made me look. Oh Jesus! It's just made me look pink now. Um, Scooby McGee, 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 just subscribed by Twitch Prime and said hi, Tiny Pete. Hello, Squib, Squibbly. Sorry, hello, Squibbly. Um, Squibble Knots Unlimited. Well, I am made up with that. Naked Santa is the fight. It's the the final piece that you see in this. Look at this artwork that we've created here. I think that should be huge. I'm not leaving it like this. Like, God, come on. Let's let's make some actual art here. We've got the big picture of the jack lantern. We've got Naked Santa. Maybe just sort of off center like that. You know, just sort of standing on the side. Looking at like a candy cane. Can I? Yeah. I knew you couldn't resist making a Wilson. Oh, he's taking it now. I wanted to sort of stick it out, but never mind. Um, thank you, Od Lazus or Lazus. I've still not worked that one out. Um. We all know where this is going, and... Hmm. Great. That'll do. So, that's Santa sorted. He's got a, a snow sausage. Uh, we've got the giant jack-o'-lantern. That looks fantastic. Um, we'll sort of place 
Place the toilet roll in the desolate landscape. This is, I think this is post, po post COVID. I think this is what happens. There's going to be one toilet roll left and then like, oh my God, how heavy is this germ? Jesus. Where's it going? There. And this, this ended up being empty, didn't it? What was in there originally? Shame you can't put living stuff in here, isn't it? But never mind. Um, oh yeah, it was a hat, wasn't it? Rules boss hat. We might be able to put that in. Big rules boss hat. Oops. Don't like that it's falling like that, hovering. Here we go. I think we've done a really good job here, everyone. We've got Elizabeth. We've got our future. It's not everyone. It's going to be okay. We've got just got a giant yeah. jack o' lantern. Jingle bells, Batman smells. I gave Mikey bird seeds. <laughs> tiny TP is live on stream with his tiny feet. I recently treated my brother to a Barbara t shirt. Can you give him a pose request for when it arrives? Sure, Luigi Weber. Thank you for the bits there. Um, I think he should pose. Um, as. Uh, oh, I don't know. Pose, pose like Babs. Pose like you're, like he's he's fighting his way through some sort of gothic apocalypse. Um, there you go. Well done, everyone. Now, I want to um, finish the stream sharp today because, to remind everyone, Worst Games Ever is going to be on YouTube Premiere today, which is very exciting. What it means is we'll all be able to head to a URL, which I will spam the hell out of into the chat at the end of our stream. We'll be able to hop over there at, like, 5 to 7, and um, we can all watch it together. I'll be in the chat. Ben, I think, will be in the chat. Uh, you guys can all be in the chat if you're logged into YouTube. Um, and we will be able to chat as we watch along live all at the same time. It's very exciting. It's a big community event. Um, we thought, you know, it's, it's something that we've, we've thought about in the past anyway. Um, so there's that. There's the fact that... Um, it's coming out later than normal, so normally it would be a Sunday when, frankly, Ben and I don't want to be doing what is still effectively work, you know, sitting and, and manning a, a stream and stuff. As fun as it will be. Like, it's not going to feel like work, but it's, it would still be work if we did it on a Sunday. So, you know, that's why we've not really done it in the past. And on top of that, um, you know, people are, as we know, shut in. A lot of people are on their own. I think we should try and make a, make a, a point of doing more community-led stuff. So even if you can't physically be with other people, it's good to know that there's a community out there of people that you can interact with and stuff. So we will all finally a chance for me to ban TP in chat. Yeah, you could do. I don't know. I might just... Problem is, if, if I... If me and Ben go in as on our own personal YouTube accounts, we might not have any kind of indicator next to our name to say it's actually us, which means people could, like, pretend to be us if we weren't you know, there's no sort of verification. So it might be Ben and me both logged in to the Triple Jump account. I don't know. I don't know yeah. how we're going to do it. We'll see. Well done, dudes. Couldn't agree more. Thank you, PV Barth Barson, for 100 blips there. Thank you. Thank you indeed. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's just a nice way for us all to interact with each other a little bit more. Um, also, Desi Does Pizza says we should play Jackbox. Uh yeah, you guys should. You should all play Jackbox together. You should remember we've got a Discord which anyone can access. I know there's an exclusive room for for patrons, but there is like there are rooms in there for.
for gaming and like off topic chat and um there's like some ttt um gmod rooms in there so there's never been a better time for you all to interact with the community a bit more if, if that's what you need in your life right now um and also i'm thinking about playing some jackbox anyway on my streams in future so there's that as well so look we all got to power through and help each other. You're right, Madster Dactyl. We've all got to do that. So, the stream will be ending promptly between 6.50 and 6.55, at which point I will get Cecil Prumps and Lord Brotovich to spam the link in the chat. It's already been tweeted. It's over on Triple Jump. It should have been, anyway. I, just, uh, I might just double check that now. I hope I'm not tanking my stream by loading Twitter. Sorry if it's gone a bit chudums, everyone. Um, well, that's not the tweet that I scheduled. Maybe Ben edited it. Or maybe maybe I just forgot to schedule it properly. Anyway, the, the link that's been tweeted is a generic one saying head to youtube.com forward slash team triple jump. There is actually a proper direct link to the video page. It's just like when we um, stream on YouTube and you can go ahead of time to the video page. So I can get hold of that link before. Uh, Lord Brock, has already got it open in another tab. Fantastic. Well, if you make sure Cecil Prumps, um, who I'm sure is already on the ball as well, make sure you've both got the link. We'll spam it a bit in the chat about five to seven. And we'll all head over there and have a lovely time. Let's do a little bit more arts and crafts. Have I finished this zone? Oh, there's still still more to do in the gallery. The gallery. Who's this? Oh yeah, we did that. Um, let's fly up. Oh, if we if we take the stairs, yeah. There we go. Oh, what a great game. I've wanted to stream this for a long time, and then it's not so easy to stream PC games in our office setup. So, actually, it was a bit serendipitous. Finish my exhibit. Wax Columbus. So, we need to set dress for Columbus, Cleopatra, and Ben Franklin. Well, that's got to be a far cloud, surely. If you guys have been watching, uh, listening to Podiots... And George Washington. Okay. Um, so for Christopher Columbus, JT the Destroyer suggests genocide. Um, <laughs> sure. Uh, suggestions welcome, everyone. An Indian flag for Columbus. Indian flag? Did he discover India? Or do you mean some sort of as in Native American. Uh, a ye oldie boat, smallpox, says Carl Jogo. Yeah, we they brought they brought disease to the Native Americans, didn't they, unfortunately, so You happy with that, Chris? Oh, it might have to be a bit more on topic, because look, they're thinking about like certain things. We'll try we'll try something else. A dead native. Oh no. Oh, he thought he was going to India, did he? Okay. Oh, I might not be able to do that. Um, and for shame, I don't know what the Indian flag looks like. I'm going to Google it again. I don't know how much this is affecting my stream. Probably not much, but... Well, I had the right colours in my head. I just didn't feel confident enough to say them out loud. It's orange, yellow. It's orange, white, and green with a little logo in the middle. It's probably looking for a ship, ship or spice. Spice. We'll put spice because that's that's just drugs, isn't it? Oh, okay. F flip sake. We'll put a ship in then. What about a spaceship? Okay. A brave new world. <laughs> He's got his spice in his cockpit as well. He's holding his spice. Slavery for Washington. Oh my god. Um, Cleopatra. Someone suggested, I think, Mark Antony. Um, 
Benjamin Franklin needs an older woman. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Right, let's try... I don't know if Mark Anthony... If Cleopatra's in the game, Mark Anthony... Is it... Does that have a, an H in it or not? I don't know. I don't know. Anubis? Ooh, you can do Anubis. Okay, well, Anubis is... That's a good backup, Anubis. Oh my god, he's a bit scary. He's trying to attack me. Oh, he's a bit spooky. Mark Antimony. A whoopee cushion for Franklin. A Sphinx, a rug, Caesar. Yeah, let's try Caesar. Uh, there he is. Oh, oh my god. There we go. That looks good. A bit less silly, but... Ben Franklin, okay. Fart Cloud. Oh. Oh, that's all you need, because it, it took it as lightning. Sorry, we'll put an older woman in there as well. She doesn't look old. She looks young and fit. I like her dress. Oh, she's cute. Um, George Washington. Apple tree and an axe. Very old woman. Veiny. A veiny old woman. Oh no. Well now she looks old. Why is veiny an optional adjective? That's horrible. Let's stop her moving around. I think it's a very woman veiny static there. But there we go. God. What a... What a thing. Did he attach his kite to a key? I didn't know that. Is that, is that accurate? Wooden teeth. Yeah, he did have... Well, that's not actually true. I did a What Culture video on that. But, yeah, they say that... Oh, maybe maybe it is true. No, I don't think it is. No, that was it. He had them made... They were made of um, real teeth from slaves. Which is just great, isn't it? Not just taking their lives and making them live miserably, but also take their teeth. Why not? Um, yeah, he had ivory teeth, says Carl Jogo. He had multiple pairs of teeth. Pretty sure most were real teeth. Maybe some ivory, yeah. Wooden teeth. There we go. Oh, there's the axe and the apple tree. Someone said that that would be there. Yeah. Why is that? I don't know that. What, I don't, my, my American history is non-existent. What's the axe and the apple tree? Did he chop a tree down? Well, I think we've done a great job, everyone. We've got his wooden teeth that he's carved out of that tree. We've got the stinky old man, Ben Franklin. We've got an actual genuinely, that's probably what the game sort of wanted exhibit. And then we've got Chris Columbus with his <laughs> with his spicy spaceship. Why not? Prepare yourselves, everyone. If you need to go make a cup of tea or something for Worst Games Ever, or go and make your Worst Games Ever tea in the space of five minutes, then, you know, get prepped. Because we're going, we're going over there shortly. A fake story about he could never tell a lie because he tried to lie to his dad about chopping down a cherry tree. Oh, it was a cherry tree. I did think they looked like cherries, but someone had said apple in the chat, so I just sort of said apple. Um, an eagle to ride on for Washington, says Lovrovich. That would have been great. A bald eagle? God. What's in here? Oh, oh my god. Oh, we're being pushed along by the fan. That man really did fall off the roof, didn't he? Here's an extra 50 worth of garlic. Here he is, the fallen man. So that just takes us upstairs. Oh, there's, the, there's the little crutch down there. And this takes us into the fire... Fire department. I think maybe, for now, we should sort of call it here. And I'll, I'll chat to the chat for five minutes. Um, yeah, we'll sort of save and quit so that we're not hurrying over to YouTube. Do you wish to save your progress and return to the title screen? Yes, I do. Well, everyone, that was Scribble Knots Unlimited. I hope you've enjoyed it so far. I think we should definitely play more of that. That was super fun. Um, 
So I don't have a full screen thing set up yet. Because if I make... <laughs> let me show you what I, how far I got and I didn't finish it. If I make the camera any bigger than this, it gets a little bit degraded. So this is what I've got right now. Um, I could pull up... Pull the face cam border and sort of shove that. Yeah. Can't wait to see more of this game. It's cute. It is Smiling cute. face with heart eyes. With heart eyes. Thank you. Thank you, Katie Kins, very much. Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing some more of this. Where's the face cam border? Pop it under the face cam. Just doing this on the fly while we while we kill the last five minutes. Oh, I don't know. I'll make a proper, you know, yeah. proper thing. Thanks for the stream, peeps. This game was fun. Can't wait for more smiling face with smiling eyes. Smiling face with smiling eyes. There we go. Um, alert box should go in the middle as well. That was off centre. Thank you very much to Carry the Worst there and Katie Kim Solo for your blips. Thank you, everybody. Um, it's been a very good sesh. I can't, I can't get over that black background behind me and how orange I look now, but it's fine. We've got like two minutes left. Who's gonna, who's gonna know? So, I think we may as well do it now. Actually, Lord Brotovich and Cecil Prompts. If you want to spam the crap out of that link, people can head over there now. Worst games ever is going out live at 7 p.m. Uh, GMT. So now, like in the next five minutes on the hour, we can all watch it there together. Yeah. Anyone who has free time at the moment, what new skill will you be learning? Good question, Broken Gaming. Uh, 100 blips there. Thank you very much indeed for those blips. Um, move that down a bit, actually. Yeah. Oh, new skill. I don't know. Um, I've been, I've been, I've been writing for a while, um, just for fun, just sort of like fiction. It's not, a, it's not a new skill, I've just been doing it, but I'm, I'm going to be able to dedicate a bit more time to it, so that's quite interesting, that's quite exciting. Because I just feel like I don't have the time to do it normally. Um, not a new skill, but, you know, I have to think about something new to learn. Um, right, everyone, if anyone's left, I'm going to end the stream in about two minutes. So if you want to watch Worst Games Ever live with all the community, you can do so by going to the link that has been periodically pasted into the chat. And... Um, if you do that, you will, you don't have to be, I don't think you have to be logged into YouTube or anything. You do if you want to chat in the chat, but if you just want to go and watch it, don't feel like, oh no, I can't do that because I'm not logged into YouTube or anything. Like, just go to that link and it will theoretically just commence for everyone at the same time. A bit like a live stream, but it's just a video that's being released to everyone at, uh, uh, simultaneously. That's the word I'm looking for there. So thank you very, very much, everyone. I may stream on Wednesday. Um, and if I'm up to speed on Halo at that point, then I'll, I'll do Halo um, just to kind of get it finished. We've only got one session left for that, for sure. In fact, it might not even fill a full stream. I might have to hop over to Scribblenauts afterwards. But Scribblenauts will continue if people want more of this. I think people, um, I think a lot of people seem to be enjoying this game. And I am. I think it's a lot of fun. So good. Well, let's all go watch Worst Games Ever together, shall we? That'd be great. Cool. I'm ending the stream now. Enjoy it. Let us know what you think in the chat. I'm watching it as an editor, wanting to know what people like, what people don't like, whether I do too many cutaways, not enough, too much full screen face cam versus gameplay and us down in the corner. So, like, I genuinely welcome any feedback, constructive criticism, anything like that. Just pop it in the chat when, as and when it comes to mind. Good. See you all on YouTube, as Cecil Prump says. Uh, thank you very much, and stay safe, everyone. See you shortly. Bye.